Well, guys, I found the cemetery. Now I just have to find out how to get into it. I'm actually driving around the parameter of it, even though you don't see it. It is here. I'm like kind of honing in on it. Last time I came, or actually, I've only been a couple times, but the first time I came, I, I was on Marta. Second time, I remember driving into it. So, yeah, we had a car. We drove right in. I mean, it was like five or six years ago, granted. But, we drove right into the place. I made it, you guys. So now I'm driving back to the old part of the cemetery. So hey, we're here at Decatur Cemetery. I've got a map here. Um, this brochure that you can get from the main office located near the entrance which I'm all the way in the back now but uh, this brochure is really cool because it actually gives you some of the the more famous sites in this place it's very photographic cemetery it's got nice hills you got a list of uh, people that were buried here there we go got some revolutionary war patriots buried here which the cemetery as I said dates back to 1823 oh, this is nice over here Check out that wall. The tombstone there is covered with kudzu or whatever that vine is right there. So I'm assuming it's probably unreadable. However, if you could read it, I'll try. I'll try to get up there and read it. I want to know how old that wall is more than anything because it's pretty cool looking. It looks extremely old. Oh, don't do so well with hills. Here we go. You can see it. December 16th, 1909. Very interesting, very cool. Harry Lee Sh Stribling? Born November 20th, 1869. Died December 16th, 1909. So, just over a hundred years. The cemetery is Decatur's largest green space. A quiet park that covers approximately 58 acres. The landscaping and monuments in the 7.5 acre old section are historically significant and encompass the simpler styles of the early 19th century and some later Victorian styles.
So, just outside the cemetery gates, you got the hustle and bustle city at downtown Decatur, Georgia. Yet yeah, within its confinement, you've got peace for rolling hills of those who slumber. reading about this guy online, <clears throat> Thomas Holly Shivers, MD, medical doctor. It says something pretty interesting about him in here. A native of Washington, Georgia, Shivers abandoned his medical training for poetry he is best known for his stormy association with Edgar Allan Poe, who once described him as one of the best and one of the worst poets in America. He lived in Decatur late in life and was buried at his own request at the foot of his front doorsteps before retirement here. So there it is. good or bad poet to be reckoned by Edgar Allan Poe I'd say is an accomplishment oh there's plywood over that one magnolia tree. It's taking forever to grow. That one's big. Let's see what we got here. So I'm now right about here. I need to go right about there. Let's see what it says about these. The Orphan's Home, UMC Children's Home. This plot contains 25 small graves and a large marker purchased by the Marble Hill Sunday School 
was used over a period of years and reflects the uncertainty of life in Victorian times when the mortality rate for children under the age of 10 was more than 50 percent. It was used over a period of years in the early 1900s. Many graves, some of which are marked with names, some of which are not. I'm assuming that's the whole orphan deal. Yet, you've got the inscription there Marble Hill Sunday School on that one. In the 1920s, the cemetery was expanded northward across the spring-fed pond, which is just over there. You can't see it because I'm down so low. The rolling hills of the new section reflect the changing burial taste of the 20th and 21st centuries with a great variety in monument styles and expansive garden-like landscaping. In 1997, Decatur Cemetery was included on the National Register of Historic Places. It's my third time, third time being out here in the span of seven years. Pretty cool. So, obviously, almost 200 years now, this place has been here. And from what I understand, on the other side, down there, this is still an active and used cemetery with burials. However, most of the interesting graves are in the old section on this end. See, the thing about big cemeteries, they're awesome. Don't get me wrong. But when it comes to combining big cemeteries with YouTube videos, there's obviously a problem. I would love to walk through here and read every inscription on every tombstone. Because I'm sure there's some good ones out there. But, this video, for internet purposes, must be limited. So, with that in mind, Decatur Cemetery, people. Hope you enjoyed it. As for me, with my fresh cortisone injection in my knee, I'm about to go sit in probably a couple hours of traffic to get back to Covington. But I enjoyed this. This was this was nice. We'll get a few more pictures before I leave here. A couple of random facts about the city of Decatur. Number one, founded in 1823, which is when this graveyard was founded. So apparently the graves in this graveyard date back to 1823. Another fact is that 
the city of Decatur was actually founded 10 years before the city of Atlanta which if you do your history you'll see you'll find that <clears throat> Atlanta is not the original capital of Georgia. Don't ask me what the original capital was, because I don't know right at this moment. But what I do know is that that's some pretty cool information. Karma. That's a heck of a last name. So see, it just goes on and on and on. It doesn't say in that brochure how many people are buried out here. But if I could guess, I'd probably say well above 5,000. I don't know that. That kind of seems low to me, but it, it still kind of seems reasonable as far as the the mass of acreage to tombstones, I guess you could say. You see the equation I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, that's Decatur Cemetery. I hope you guys liked it. I like this place. Uh, so I guess this is Cemetery Saga Part 3. And uh, stay tuned for more cemeteries. Maybe not quite so big. Maybe not quite so, I don't know. big I guess but I will be bringing you more cemeteries I'll be bringing you more of a lot of stuff so just stay tuned subscribe if you are having trouble finding my YouTube channel just go to your address bar and type in www.youtube.com slash why do the nations rage question mark and hit enter and it'll take you to my YouTube channel. You'll see all my videos. I think I've got around almost 35 of them at this point. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for more. Subscribe. Hit the like button because you know you want to. And that's about it, people. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. So on and so forth. Peace out.